So here I am. I think this is working and I will just make sure my screen is set up okay. And I can't really see if there's anyone out there, but that's okay. I am ready and you're here live with me, Chrissia, at Lightning English. And I'm here for a lightning lesson on how to make your English happen in 2021. And I'm really excited about this. I've been doing a lot of soul searching and trying to really find ways to help my, uh, my students and uh, all of you who are following me um, to, to do better at reaching your English goals. I know what you need to do and I know I've been sharing those steps with you. But I think a lot of people are having challenges with the actual implementation of making it happen every day. So that's what I'm going to be talking to you about actually in the next few lightning lessons. And um, it's really what I'm going to be focusing on because I realize that once people know what to do, the, the next biggest problem is making sure that it actually happens. So I know all of you out there have big goals for 2021, and I wanted to know if any of those goals actually include improving your English. Um, I hear over and over again people saying, I really want to improve my English. I want to get better. I want to be more fluent. I want to learn more words. I don't want to be stumbling over words when I'm talking. Um, I hear these things over and over again, and I realize that these are deep needs that you have and that's wonderful um, many of you have had the goal to improve your English for many many years and it just hasn't happened um, I know what that's like I know what it's like to have a goal for years and years and it doesn't happen and uh, my my big thing wasn't obviously learning English but Mine was weight loss. I wanted to lose weight and it's been years, 16 years of making this goal every year. I'm going to lose weight and I really wanted it, but wanting it isn't enough to make it happen. And in the past year, um, as I've found different ways of goal setting and goal achieving, I realized that there were some other steps that I had to take to make my goals actually happen. And so that's the journey I've been on. And um, that's what I'm going to share with you now because I've been able to adapt this for learning English. And I hope you can take some of this on and try it out. And um, if you're here in the Lightning Practice group, you'll hopefully share your journey with the others in the group. You can be inspired by each other. I'll be watching the group very closely if you have any questions or if I can kind of add anything or help you with anything. I will just jump in and, and, and share that with you. So I hope that um, you can use this group as the tool that it is. And I hope that you'll use this lesson as the tool that it is that will help you to, to really, really focus on your English journey without having to take a whole bunch of time out of your days. I know you don't have a lot of time to spend on your English, even though you have big goals. And so the best thing to do is make the time that you have really, really effective. And that's really what we're going to work on um, with this process. So let's get started with the first of the four steps that I'm going to share with you today. As I said, this is going to be a short lesson. All of my lightning lessons I've planned to be hopefully no more than 10 minutes, but uh, we'll see what happens, okay? And at the end, if you have any questions, just go ahead and put them in the comment section. Um, and I will try and get to them. It's hard for me to read the questions as we go. So let's look at the first step. And this is that you clearly identify your hopes and dreams. And what does this mean? Well, I think a lot of people have the goal of, I want to be better at English, but that's not clear enough. Um, you need to really get a clear picture in your mind of exactly what you want to do with your English. What do you want to be able to do when you achieve your goal? Do you want to feel confident participating in meetings? Um, do you want to improve your English so that you can have easy conversations with native English speakers or English speaking colleagues? Do you want to be able to write emails without using Google Translate and Grammarly? Is that your goal? Or maybe you want something completely different or even a combination of these things. But whatever you do, you should first of all get a very clear picture and then write it down. In English, of course, and preferably in your journal, because journaling is really going to help you to get towards your goals. So I'll repeat, the first step is to clearly identify your hopes and dreams. Okay, it's not enough to be vague. 
being better at English isn't clear enough. Be very clear. Sit down and think about what you really, really want. Okay? The next step is that you want to picture yourself as that goal person. So now you've you've identified what your hopes and dreams are uh, very clearly. And now picture that person being you. So if your, your dream was, for example, um, being able to speak up in meetings, right? So really picture yourself in a meeting, having a thought, having an idea, putting up your hand and just saying it in English without being afraid. Picture it, see it in your mind um, so that, and make sure that you see it as you and not another person because having you in that picture is what is gonna motivate you to do what it takes to get there. If you don't believe that you can actually be there, if you can't, if you don't believe that you can be that person, then you're not gonna really do the work that it takes to achieve your dreams and your goals. So that's the second step, to picture yourself as that goal person. I told uh, the people in my mailing list that my my dream was to lose weight. And um, at the in the middle of last year, I kind of started this process for myself. It wasn't at the beginning of the year, it was around June. And what I did is I sat down and I thought, okay, if I lose the weight I want, what will I look like? And I kind of had to like close my eyes and picture myself. And it was the first time I had done that. I didn't picture myself before. And so I didn't really believe it could happen. Once I started to believe it could happen, that's when things started to change. That's when I started to do the things um, that could get me there. So believe that you can be that person because otherwise you're not gonna take the steps and you're not gonna put in the time and energy that it takes, even if it's only 20 minutes a day. So your next step will be, you should begin after you've pictured this person that you're gonna be, Create some habits for yourself that are based on your goal person, okay? So the goal you, the person who speaks up in meetings or that person who writes emails without using Google Translate and Grammarly, you have to start thinking, what what kind of habits does this person have in their life? So you imagine actually that you're already the person you're trying to become. And you look at your habits and you say, well, what would be different about what I do if I were this person? Okay, so for me, for losing weight, I had to imagine, okay, um, before I made my breakfast, I had to think, what would I eat if I were actually at my goal weight? And of course, that would affect what I actually ate that day, and that brought me closer to my goal. If you say, what? how would I conduct myself in a meeting if I were my goal person? Well, I would put up my hand and I would say what I wanna say. Well, do that. You have to create a habit that is based on who you wanna be. You're not gonna get there and then do those things. You're gonna get there by doing those things. So go ahead and start looking at what you do daily and see how it would be different if you were the kind of person who you're trying to be regarding your English. So if you were a fluent English speaker and there was a person in the break room or actually break room, that's funny. We're all working from home, aren't we? So um, there was a meeting, for example, in English um, and you just didn't wanna go because of course you feel, oh, my English isn't good enough. Well, if your English was good enough, would you attend? The answer is yes. So attend the meeting, go and do it. Do those things because they are gonna pull you forward and help you to become that person, okay? So, and it can be big things like work things, but it could also be, if my English was fluent, what language would I write my shopping list in, for example? Or what language would my Facebook be in or my cell phone? So start looking at things around you and seeing how they would change if you were who you actually want to be um, regarding your English goals. Um, and the last of the four steps is I want you to take a small step every day, okay? it's This is not about making huge changes all at once. Um, that is overwhelming. It takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of energy, and it's not really sustainable. We can't keep it up. If you look at taking a little step each day, 
So maybe just today your step is, I'm going to write for five minutes in English in my journal. That's a little step, but you can do that. That's doable. And then tomorrow you take another little step. Um, maybe instead of writing your journal, maybe writing in your journal for five minutes is too big a step for you. Okay, so write your shopping list in English today instead of in your own language. It's a little step, but it's going to take you towards who you want to be. Imagine if you take these little steps every day, who are you actually going to be a year from now? Are you going to be that person who you wanted to be? Or are you still going to be the same person that you are? If you don't take a little step today and tomorrow and the next day, then a year from now, six months from now, you'll be looking back saying, oh, I wish I had started. So go ahead and start today. Do one thing today that's going to make your English better, that's going to take you towards your English goals and focus on that and be proud of yourself for the little steps that you take. Don't worry about the past. Let that go. Just look forward into the future. Be proud of yourself for the little steps that you take and watch how you move towards the person that is your goal person. And um, I'd love for you to share it in the group and share your thoughts and your progress and everything in the, in the lightning practice group because you'll be inspiring other people to take some of the same steps. Um, you'll remind people what they have uh, committed to and uh, it's wonderful to see that you're not alone on this journey. So I really encourage you to join the Lightning Practice Group and uh, also join my email list. I have the four practice activities as a bonus and I'll post that in the group so you can see it. Um, I'm just going to shift over here and see if I can see if anyone is here live and if there are any questions. I don't see any questions here, and I hope that means there aren't any. I sometimes have problems with the comment area. But if there are any questions, I might post another little extra video to answer them. So I'm really happy that you could join me either live or uh, watching the recording later. And I hope that you're going to take your one step today to take you closer to becoming your goal person in terms of uh, improving your English in 2021. Mm -hmm. And I look forward to following you along on that journey and being there with you every step of the way. So thanks so much for being here with me. And this is Chrysia, and this has been a lightning lesson.